Hey guys, it's Amanda and I am back with another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys five back to school outfit ideas for the five days of the school week. So wearing a cute outfit to school is honestly so important to me because I feel like external expressions can really um, influence your internal mood. Like everything doesn't have to be from the inside out, even though that's like a pretty common phrase to say. But I truly believe that if you're like looking good on the outside, it can really influence how you feel. So that's why I love having a cute outfit that I feel comfortable and confident in. And I want you guys to feel the same when you go back to school. So I really hope that these outfits can give inspiration for you. And honestly, I did not really go back to school shopping this year. Um, all these things I had in my closet. And also, if you wanna see everything else that's in my closet, you should totally watch my last video. I posted a few days ago, trying on everything in my closet. But yeah, I really hope this video can give you guys some inspiration if you are able to go back to school shopping or even if you're not. Um, I hope you guys enjoy these looks and we'll just get right into it. Okay, so this first look I like to call conversation starter. So, as you can probably tell, I am wearing my Harry Styles live in concert t-shirt. So the whole point of this look is to basically just pair um, a shirt with like something that you like, whether it's a band, movie, TV show, whatever, um, and wear that because it can be a conversation starter. I feel like there's been so many times when I'm in a classroom setting and I see someone wearing a certain band tee or whatever that I'm into and I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, I need to be friends with them, I need to talk to them, and it's honestly such a great way to start a conversation with someone. So yeah, I feel like this look is really practical, but I wanted to elevate it a little bit. So instead of doing, you know, typical band tee and uh, jeans, I wanted to add these nice, flowy, cool up pants which are arguably a lot more comfortable in jeans and honestly make it look like you really put in a lot more effort to your outfit even though these basically feel like pajamas so i freaking love these they just like elevate the look a bit and i thought to even farther you know add some spice to it i put on these platform sandals that i love if you're a short person platforms are the way to go if you want a little boost in confidence a little boost in height and then also, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I added some little gold jewelry, um, some gold hoops, a necklace, and this bracelet. I feel like really simple gold jewelry just can like quite literally like brighten up your look so much and just like elevate the look a little bit. So yeah, I honestly love this outfit and I honestly would 100% wear this to class. All right, so this look I like to call balancing act because as you can see, there's things going on. So on the top, I am wearing this completely sheer lace shirt, which I love and I love the detailing on it. It's just so pretty. And obviously because it's completely sheer and lacy, you wanna wear something under. So I'm just wearing a little tank top under because you know, school and yeah. <laughs> And so then on the bottom, I'm just wearing these jeans, which are quite comfortable, and also my platform Doc Martens shoes. So yeah, I decided to pair this pretty fancy, like high neck, lacy Victorian style shirt with just some simple high-waisted jeans and Doc Martin boots. I think it's a really fun way to juxtapose, if you will, some fancier elements and more casual elements and just make it a balancing act. Like everything about the school year is a balancing act. You have to balance schoolwork, social life, work work, mental health, all these other things. So yeah, I thought this outfit was a quite literal representation of that. And if you guys have any types of fancier blouses that you wanna wear, just know that I think it'll look totally cute with a simple pair of jeans and boots. So you're comfortable, but you're also kind of feeling yourself. So yeah, that's this outfit. All right, so this next look, I'm calling a dress to impress. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm not actually wearing a skirt. I am wearing a dress. I just decided to do a really simple layer thing and put a shirt over it. So yeah, and I'm wearing also my Doc Martens again. I really like how this look turned out because, I don't know, I think it's like fun with the colors. Uh, 
kind of referencing this little band of yellow in the skirt. And I just added some cute star earrings. So yeah, I really like this look. I think it's super simple and easy. And honestly, if you feel like wearing a dress to school is too much or too fancy, which it isn't, but you kind of want to like tone it down a little bit, it's so easy to just pop any type of t-shirt or blouse over it and instantly transform it into a skirt moment. And then I think also having the Doc Martens also makes it a little bit more casual for school. This is the look. We got a little bit of a highlighter moment going on. <laughs> but I'm really into it, so yeah. All right, so this look I like to call just a little monochromatic. So of course these are not the same exact shades of green, but I still think it looks really cute together. So I would really recommend that you guys try pairing things that are in like the same color family. You know, it doesn't have to be an exact match, but I think it can come out really cute like this and it can be a super simple look like this is just a crop sweatshirt and a really comfortable little skirt and of course I wore it with my docs. Again I just paired it with these simple earrings and I really like how this look turned out. Alright this is the last but not the least look. I like to call this one book smart because nothing says intelligence like a pair of fake glasses. Um, so this outfit, I definitely kind of went on a little bit more of a, I guess you could say preppy or classic side with the collared sweater and the slacks, but I definitely still wanted to make it my own, so I really like the colors, they're not like pastel and khaki, and I cropped this, or not cropped, but I just tucked in the sweater to like give more of a shape because it would kind of just like, well, if I left it untucked. <laughs> so yeah, and then of course I'm still wearing my docks though because they go with everything, but I think loafers would actually look really cute this outfit. I just don't have a pair. And then I added these glasses just to like tie in the whole like cute, classic, nerdy girl vibes. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I hope that you guys like this look. I actually really like this. I think it's really cute. I really like glasses. I've always been one of those people who just thinks glasses are so fun, even though I don't need them. But um, <laughs> Yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed these outfits and I really hope that you can take inspiration from them. Let me know which one was your favorite below and also let me know what other types of videos you guys want to see from me coming up. Uh, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!